Now let us learn about different kinds of angles. Right angle, acute angle, obtuse angle. Here if you notice the window pane, we see a right angle between two adjoining sides of a window. Well, this is a book. Two adjacent sides of a book make a right angle. Let us see the clock. In a clock, at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock, the minute hand and the hour hand are at right angles to each other. In the picture alongside, there is a right angle between the two blades of the scissors. Did you notice that? Alright. Now kids, as we reduce the distance between the tips of the blades little by little, the angle between the blades grows smaller than a right angle. An angle which is smaller than a right angle is called an acute angle. But as we increase the distance between the tips of the blades, the angle between the blades grow bigger than a right angle. An angle that is bigger than a right angle is called an obtuse angle. Well, here are some pictures of clocks. If you notice the first picture, the hour hand and the minute hand is showing a right angle. In the second picture, the hour hand and the minute hand is showing an acute angle. While in the third picture of a clock, the hour hand and the minute hand is showing an obtuse angle. Circle. Well, you've learned about angles. Now we will learn about a circle. There are various things around us which are in the form of a circle such as a bangle, a bicycle wheel, a cartwheel. All the above objects are circular. Now let us learn some more about a circle. Circle, center, radius, diameter, chord. First let us make a perfect circle. Take a small steel bowl. Place it upside down on a piece of paper and trace its outline. Remove the bowl. The figure you get on the piece of paper is a circle. Draw two or three circles like this and cut out the circular paper shapes. Take one of these shapes and fold it as shown in the picture. Trace the line of the fold with a pencil. Now this line is called a chord of the circle. Now fold another circular shape to divide it into two halves. Trace the line of the fold with a pencil. Kids, this line is called a diameter of the circle. The diameter too is a chord of the circle. Now fold the shape again so that we get a quarter part of the shape. Unfold the paper shape. Now you see the circular shape again. Trace the lines of the folds. The point at which these lines meet each other is the center of the circle. Name the center of the circle M. Take any point P on the circle. Draw the line MP with your ruler. MP is a radius of the circle. Geometrical figures, vertex and side. Observe the figures and complete the table below. First figure. This is a rectangle. So name of the figure is rectangle. Number of the sides already given are 4. Number of the corners are already given as 4. Now let us see the next figure. Can you guess which figure is this? Correct. It's a square. So name of the figure is square. Number of sides, well, square has four sides. And number of corners, it has four corners too. So we write four. Let us see the next figure. That's a triangle. 
So name of the figure is triangle. Let us see the number of sides. Yes, they are three. So write three over here. And number of corners. They are three too. So write three over here as well. Rectangle. A rectangle has four edges. That is four sides. The point where two sides meet is called a vertex. In the figure alongside, A, B, C and D are the vertices. Here the sides A, B, B, C, C, D, A, D are the sides of the rectangle. The opposite sides of the rectangle are of equal length. All the angles of a rectangle are right angles. A rectangle is also called a right angle quadrilateral. Square A square has four vertices and four sides. In the figure alongside, P, M, R and S are the vertices of the square. All the sides of a square are of equal length and its angles are right angles. Triangle. A triangle has three vertices and three sides. Y, R and L are the vertices of this triangle. YR, RL and YL are the three sides of the triangle. A triangle has three angles. Geometrical figures. Angles. Hey kids, can you notice that slide? Well, if you see it properly, we will see angles between the ground and the slide. Here, did you notice? In the second picture, if you see it properly, the ladder makes an angle with the ground. Here is a picture of a tree. We see angles between the tree trunk and its branches. Now, this is an electric pole. There is an angle between the electric pole and the ground. In our surroundings, wherever we see two lines meeting, there is an angle. Now collect some pictures in which you can see angles. Mark those angles using a pencil. Hey, look at the angles that can be made at your elbow. Let's try and do it. If we put our elbow like this, here is an angle. If we put our elbow like this, again we are making an angle. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें। ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें।